we just got to figure out a way to catch a good bag today and make the Bassmasters Classic. You know, this is literally the last day of the season for me right here. Got him. Got him, dude. Another big one right there. Okay. Got it. Maybe it's her. I think it's her, dude. I think it's her. It is her. It is her. Oh my gosh. Please stay on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. 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 Got him. It's a giant. Oh my god! Jew, you gotta be kidding me! Maddie's truck, my truck, Canterbury's truck. What do you see? It's a little, little different right in here. The difference is they're not up. That's right. They sleeping. Cause it's 4:20 in the morning. Yeah, 4:20 in the morning. We're up north, guys. This is, this is, you know, throughout the year we have all these tournaments, and and of course we go to Fork, and that's a lot of fun, and we go to Florida, and that's a lot of fun. But coming up here to the north. St. Lawrence River, guys, right here behind me. St. Lawrence River down that road right there is where we are. Bassmaster Elite. Stop number, I believe, six. I believe. I'm not even sure. But that's what we're doing, guys. Big small mouth. It's not going to be any large mouth this week. All small mouth. And uh, I'm going to take you guys along. That's right. For a little practice craziness, okay? We got some weather coming in at the end of the week. So we got a lot of work to do today. So my goal today was to get up, get out there, put in 16 or 17 hours of fishing today, because that is uh, what we have to do. That's the wrong room. We're at a hotel tonight, or last night, because so we're gonna doesn't start until tonight. So I don't want to bang too loud and wake up people in the I don't think they're awake, dude. Dude, I'm confused. We tried. You saw I mean we have proof right here. Hey you've reached Canterbury. I'm either getting ready to go fishing. Or I'm out fishing. So or sleeping. Or sleeping. Got to actually put that in your message. Or sleeping. Going to put 16 hours in tomorrow on the water. We're going to fish. We're going to fish everything. What are you laughing for? Aww. Just have the camera running when we leave this this yeah. little grassy knoll in the morning. Because you won't get an answer. Are they awake? They're gone. Yeah, right. They're gone already. Shh. You better write this down. Oh, oh, Hollywood gone. Is it? Yeah, he he did he did that just for show though. He did that just to try to prove a point. No, we wrote, we woke up on regular time. We were, regular time. We were ahead of y'all. Well, he missed breakfast. All I got to say. What is that? He missed breakfast. She's Danish. Don't feel like 
Shelby, North Carolina right now and you wake up. You're the last one out. Yeah, well, that's a first. First time for everything. I bet I won't be the last one with my boat in the water. That's the funny part. Down the dirt, always working. Most of the crime. Oh, there's one right there. Didn't take long. It's got up on these little rocks right here. I don't think it was on a bed though. I think it was just a fish chilling and cruising. Dude, that's a big one. Oh my gosh. No, that's a little one. It didn't take long though. <laughs> this place is awesome. He's mad, dude. Look at this thing. He's so mad. He's just a two pounder, and I can't get him up. Might be a three, but he's he's not big. But look at that. <laughs> that is so awesome. Look at that. First cast, baby. Beautiful right here. Look at that. Boy, that's why I love coming up here. Okeechobee is awesome, but I'll tell you what, seeing the beauty up here, these big smallmouth, that's nice. All right, dude, thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Fat one, dude. God, that thing's got shoulders. Three eight. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh, dude! Another one. Literally hit the freaking water. Oh, I'm spun out, man. This is just kind of nuts, though. I'm not gonna lie. There he is right there. He's right there. Gosh, dude, look at that one. Literally came up and slurped it. It was a four pounder. Whoa. This place is special. That's for sure. I don't think he's that big. There's, oh, there's more with him. There's more with him. So what happens, a lot of times there's pairs. Like this one here. It's just a small one. I didn't, 
I think it was a drum because it was too dang big to be a another smallmouth. But there are like five pounders with these three pounders. All right. A little spy bait action, guys. I bought these a couple years ago. I've been carrying them around that particular color, waiting for an opportunity to throw it. You know, people always ask, why do you spend so much money on tackle? And I, I probably spend a lot more than you realize, like, or probably more than, way more than average, I'll say that. But it's like lures or tools, and it's like that one color that I bought two years ago, and I didn't catch anything on it, but now all of a sudden, boom, it becomes maybe my top color here. You know, it's like, you you know, the lures are tools, so going to use them at different times, you know? Hey, before we get too far into this video, I want to say a huge shout out and thank you to Keeps for sponsoring this video. You ask yourself, what is Keeps? Well, Keeps is a subscription service that help men keep their hair. I've been using Keeps for over a year now, guys, and it's made a huge difference in my life. I actually highly recommend it, okay? But let me tell you a little bit about Keeps. They're doctor-recommended hair loss treatments. They offer clinically proven treatments to combat the symptoms of hair loss. Treatments are delivered straight to your door, okay? That's important for me. And also, treatment plans are affordable, typically about half the cost of what they cost at a pharmacy. And all treatment plans are personalized and doctor recommended. Keeps has a network of expert medical advisors, prescribers, and care specialists to support you in making hair growth goals a reality. Now, the best part about this whole plan is they have 24-7 expert support okay that is a big deal so you have unlimited messaging to your doctor to ask any questions you would like to ask most keeps customers notice results within six months of starting treatments two out of three guys will experience hair loss by the time they're 35. with keeps you can get quality expert care without ever visiting a doctor's office and all keeps treatment plans are doctor recommended and again delivered straight to your door Okay, this is a big deal for me, guys, because I fish a lot. I wear a hat a lot, okay? I've got to protect this right here. And again, I've been using the Keep service for over a year now. Uh, it's worked for me really good because I'm going to keep fishing, and I'm going to keep wearing my hats. So, guys, if you want to combat the symptoms of hair loss, again, check out Keeps. They've offered a fantastic deal for everyone watching this video. 50% off on your first order, and all you have to do is go to the link. It's in the description, and it is keeps.com forward slash Scott Martin. That's right. You'll save 50% off on your first order. And here's the beauty of this offer. You can share this offer with other people. So if you have some, another loved one, a relative, a friend that might benefit from the Keeps subscription service, be sure to pass that on. Do me a favor, guys. Click the link. Check it out. Educate yourself. And we'll see you soon. Let's get back to fishing. Dude, I came over here to this other side, and the first cast I made, I catch a three. The second cast I make, I catch a 4-8. No, a 3-8. And the third cast I make, I catch a 4-8. And then I've had another 4.5 or 5 eat my bait, missed it. Had another one knock it out of the water, like come up and hit my spy bait. Dude. It's I, crazy, isn't it? It's so stupid. But I, I landed right on them. I landed right on them, and then I hadn't... I mean, I've seen like... Six more five more they weren't giant giant but they were like three somethings yeah. just saw another four go up on these shallow this flat over here in like three four foot of water we'll check one more little spot just see if they're there if they're there I'm, oh there's another one right there damn that's crazy dude hang on i'm gonna try to catch him hang on hang on Got him. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Uh, behind the boat. Like literally threw behind the boat and caught him. It's not a big one though. He's black, but he's not. He's a three. Wow. I think I need to come get you. And he's not big at all. He's only like a two and a half actually. Hang on. Yeah, that's a small one. It's crazy how they look. You see them in the water, you think they're you think they're big every time. If the light brown ones look big, they're giant. If the black ones look big, they're they're like a pound lighter than what you think. Really? Yeah. I wonder why they're darker than lighter. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so I called McCoy. He's itching to get out here for a little bit. We're gonna run back, pick him up real fast. Throw him in the boat and then we'll uh out, see if we can't get a few. He wants to get a few pictures, so let's do that. Let's go get my boy. Come on, my boy. Oh, we 
Look at that big one, dude. Big one right there. See the swirl? Dude, that was a big one. I don't know why I missed it, but he he came up on it. It was like a four or five pounder. This is a tough tournament to win because there's so many good fish here. You've got to outthink, you've got to outwork, and you've got to get a couple of those. So every day you got to get a couple of those over five pound bites. Three and a half and four pounders are not going to win the tournament. It's going to take over 90 pounds to win. It could possibly take more than that. So, you know, that's the thing. It's like you, know, you get excited, you find an area, and you're, oh man, I could catch 18 or 19 pounds in here. And in all reality, that's going to do nothing but maybe get you a check, maybe. <laughs> I mean, like, that's how good this place is. So, it is nice that I have a, a little bit of stuff here on the river, but I need to get on the lake and find something special. So guys, the next three days of practice, is I think this is going to be a great video. So uh, thank you for watching it. Hopefully you watched the entirety of the video. Do me a huge solid. Uh, we're growing. Our channel's growing pretty good. But do me a huge solid, guys. Share our video out. So if you have uh, Facebook, share it on Facebook. If you, uh, you can also share it on YouTube. Let friends know about it. And subscribe to our channel. We want to get our subscriber count up. Let's hit a million subscribers. We have to start fast tracking that. We're going to get 50 or 60,000 views on this video. So I'm hoping that we get 20 or 30,000 new subscribers. So if you're a new watcher, please subscribe to our channel. And thank you very much. And uh, let's go. Let's go, baby. That looks like a bed. That looks like a bed. Here it is. Little one. You get in the boat, McCoy, and I catch the smallest one so far. A little baby. But it looked like a bed from that far away, which is cool. There might be a big one on it, though. Way different size fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a freaking mule. That's a mule. That's the other way. Freaking mule. Three foot of water. 312. I thought he was bigger than that. But he is a good one. He is a good one. done. I gotta get out of here guys. I mean it's supposed to be a nice day today. It's not. It's 20 mile hour winds. It's gonna blow 20 to more tomorrow and it's gonna blow freaking 30 on the last day. So I need to go find shallow fish is what I need to go find. And there's plenty of them. Let's go find them. Well, finally, saw him swimming. God, he's so mean, dude. So mean. Look at that big old fat one right there.
Oh my gosh, dude. Alright. Let's see how big this one is. I bet he's only three and a half. Yep. Didn't even count. Barely a three and a half. Felt good though. Thank you, dude. more in this school which is golly dude these things fight so hard gotta practice landing these, these dudes three maybe a three maybe well that is officially it guys sun's going down 16 hours of fishing today you know I, I don't know I, it started off really strong got some confidence shallow and then I made a bad decision to try to get over to this other lake and the wind blew me out that kind of got me off kilter and uh, but I know I can catch a pretty good bag shallow, and I, I'm, I'm hoping I can catch a big bag out deep. So it's gonna be dead slick con for the tournament, which will make it good for both shallow or deep, to be honest with you. So we'll see what happens. It's um, I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen. Canterbury caught them pretty good, I think Matt caught them pretty good. I had about 18 and a half pounds, maybe, maybe 19, but time to head in, guys. Tired, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. I'm so tired. You all right? Yeah. Maybe he might fall out, dude. All right, we are finally here at our house. Oh my gosh, what a day! Pretty cool little cabin that we rented. Last night we had to stay in a hotel because this this didn't open up until today. So I have not seen it. It looks pretty cool. Uh, inside looks awesome, actually. Dang, this place is nice, dude. This place is nice. That's good. I don't know if I want to cook all of them. That's snapper, and this is grouper. It says on the back, grouper, and that's snapper. No, that's a grouper. No, that's no, snapper. Let's do the grouper. Put that back in the. Put it in the refrigerator. You dry it up. Yep. Can anybody get the salt? I got up in there and put that bag of ice and I climbed out and I just took my left foot and I always just stepped right off the center and land on that trailer thing, you know? Yeah. And I missed it and my right foot was on the tailgate and that just flipped me. And you hit the ground. Bang. Got my shoulder blades and my dude, my shoulder blade, I bet it's bruised. In the center of my back right now. Right yeah, right, right in there. a little bit. Right in there. Yeah. That's where I hit. That in my head. Yeah. Oh. That's hot. Whoa. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, red grouper. Was that a strawberry? Yeah, now it's a red. We call them I don't strawberries. Like strawberries. Huh? 
We call it a fire truck. But it smells good. It smells good. It's good. There's some big old pieces too. I know. Some real good pieces. And grouper. Good? Yeah, it's good. You this is the Gulf of Mexico? Yeah. Went out of Mexico Beach. Man, right now it looks good out here, this weather. But, uh, you're supposed to blow today. It's gonna be a little different day. I'm still trying to stay close to that lake where I think the big ones are and see if we can't figure out how to catch some big ones. So, about time to go fishing. We gotta go get these other boys up. My fault, bro. Ready to go, dude. This, this is like this is a hard one to come in and, and mess around and goof around like we normally do because we get it at 10 o'clock. We eat dinner at what 11? Yeah, Here's an idea uh -huh. start practice at 4 30 and come in at 6 30. Well, I started practice yesterday at 4 30 and I came in at 9 30. Well, that's your fault. Starting to practice at 4 30. You got up at 4 30 and went to the lake and didn't have any gas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, well, tell the rest of the story. <laughs> So you can take out at nine and go get gas and eat lunch and then go back out. Lunch. Yeah, I went to the town, had pizza and stuff. I'm probably not gonna change a lot. I'm probably just gonna try to keep expanding on what I did yesterday. I caught too many fish yesterday, so. Which is probably kind of stupid, by the way. Especially when you're fishing shallow. Good morning. All right. We're almost ready to go. Canterbury gone? Yeah. Dang. Well, we're packing like sardines. Cool house though. Probably our last day of practice other, other than getting in the river tomorrow. It's not gonna be 30 mile winds tomorrow. So no matter where you fish, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, yeah. Cause that's shooting right up the river, that wind. Shooting right up it. Southwest, south? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, mean, I mean, it's gonna be bad, dude. You know, as good as this place is, it's one of the more difficult tournaments of the year to figure out how to win. It's a fun tournament, so you catch a lot of fish. I mean, <laughs> but the problem is you can go out and have a great time. I mean, catch 15, 16, 17 pounds of smallmouth and be in last place. That's how this place fishes, which is kind of crazy. But yesterday I had about 19 pounds, uh, caught mostly everything shallow, had a few decent bites out deep, I'm watching the weather. The wind's not going to be very much at all uh, Thursday and Friday for sure, Saturday even. So that's going to open the lake up for a lot of opportunities. There's some shallow fish to be caught too, and, and probably a mixed bag could do it because I know there's some big ones up shallow. I mean, there's probably some four and a half, which I caught some yesterday, some four and a half, five pounders up shallow. So today we're going to take advantage of the wind. We're gonna to try to get offshore again, do what we can, but it's gonna to blow today. So I don't think I'm gonna get an all day deal out there, but we're gonna do what we can. Now tomorrow the wind's gonna blow like 30. We're gonna to have to stay in the river all day tomorrow. So tomorrow is our last day of practice and it'll be the river day. We'll see what we can find. fish right there. He's going down on it. He's going down on it. He's going down on it. Got him. Got him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We might have found some. I don't think he's that big. big is he? Just a three pounder. A fat one though. Look how fat. Dude, he's built different. Look at that. That's so cool. 
Look at that. That's a three. That's a three. Let's see. Fat fish. Three five. Three five. Not a big one, but sure is a pretty one, guys. First fish of day two of practice. Right there. All right, buddy. Thank you, bud. That's a fat one. They built. They're heavy out here. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Oh, there's just fish everywhere out here, dude. That feels big. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you guys, I mean, look, I know everybody likes catching largemouth and they're big and mean, but dude, these smallmouth are just so powerful. It's like all you can do. Every largemouth I've ever hooked, I've landed within just a, you know, 30 seconds or so. A small mouth? No. No, it's like, it's a long fight, dude. It's crazy. I mean, I'm pulling hard, but you've got a fish light line. This is six pound P-line tactical. So, you know, I can't put a lot on. And even if I had 12, if they would bite 12, I'm telling you, you break hooks. Like, they don't give up. They're just mad, all the time mad. Takes forever to get them up. <sighs> Look at that. Fellers. Fellers, we've done got one. These fish out here are different. These are built different than even the ones yesterday that I caught up shallow. This one's up shallow. These dudes have been out here a minute. Not a good spot like this. Oh yeah. Four pounder, four one. Thank you, Lord. Now we're talking. That's awesome, guys. And I'll tell you what I did do. I changed colors. I was throwing a, this color here, which is a popular color. And I went to a goby color because I caught a goby. I caught a goby on my hook. Oh my gosh, dude, that's another four pounder, dude. Oh, golly, dude. Dang, that's awesome, guys. All right, guys, midday update. Good day so far, you know. I found an area that, in my mind, 100% can win the tournament. I don't know how many of the boats are on it. I'm sure there's other boats on it because it's a, it's it's not a secret spot. It's just one of the places they get on. Seems like there's a lot there, like a lot. And and my thinking is that maybe these fish on this side of the lake probably spawned earlier, and they've already been out there feeding up because these fish were all heavy, thick and heavy, like they were just built different. But they were big. Those were nice smallmouth right there. I think. You know, 21, 22, 23, 24 pounds a day is doable, you know. So, we got to find some more, obviously. Things change. You know, the weather's going to be a little bit different. So, you know, it's got to keep working hard at it. But so far, so good. It's been fun. Those are some big smallmouth, aren't they? Dude, this is a freaking mule. A mule. It's a mule. <laughs> dude, I got a freaking gigantic one on, dude. 
I mean a freaking mule. Hey, there was like 15 of them, okay? It's in between. It's a new spot out here. It's in between, but right on the tip. And it shut at 18 again. Back to, I got back to 18 and started catching them. Dude, I pulled, there was like 15 and I threw out there, dude. He thumped it, dude. It's like a five. Dude, he's going back to the bottom again. Like, honestly, listen. <laughs> I can't even. Wow, look at that one, guys. Dude, that's a big one. That's a big one. What a blessing, dude. I'll say this, guys. I don't know, man, about a lot, but I'll say this. This has potential. This has potential to win the tournament out here. It's a five pounder, dude. It's bouncing around between five, three, and four, 14. Five pounder, guys. Let's see, dude. I got a big one again, dude. This is crazy, guys. This is just ridiculous, dude. You know, I've, I've been out here a few times. I've just never caught them quite like this. 312. 312. Beautiful, beautiful. I got another one, I can't tell. Saw him. This is a good one. There's a bunch of them right here. They went down on it. Got him. He's little. He's little. Pound and a half. There was a bunch there. You need to come over here and look at these. There's a bunch of them on the damn graph, dude. Yeah, six or eight of them under my boat right now. Look at this ledge when you'll see it. It's like a big rock ledge. Well, another one. You dropped it straight down on? Yeah. I don't think he's that big. The biggest one by its first time, first drop. Isn't that crazy? But I think this stuff will get better, don't you? Good. That's a two pounder. He's baby. Day is officially over we had some camera problems there at the end i saw i wasn't able to record what we found which was freaking amazing amazing found some shallow fish and it was like i can't hardly put it into words it was several hundred yards of fish in every direction and that's a fact i caught a four eight uh, another one close to five canterbury caught a come on back canterbury caught a uh, five Four and a half.
just, it was just, like, it would just do the scope and it was just fish the whole way from, from six foot to 14 foot. It was crazy. I don't know. I mean, 100% could catch a bunch of fish right there. I would cut them every cast in every direction. You hungry? I heard you get made some uh, Cheeto pie or something. What'd you make? Cheeto pie. Where, what is it? Ow! What is it? You ain't cook that fish. <laughs> Mexican casserole. Mexican casserole. Yeah, we need to cook that fish. I'm getting worried about it. No, it's fine. I smelled it last night. It's fine. You did what? Might need a warm up. And you really want to have a like a stomach ache, right? I think that one's whacking. Yeah. You can go there on day four when you when you need them. All right, McCoy, that was pretty good, dude. I, what do you I call this thing again? Man, what is that called? Huh? Yeah. Mexican casserole. Was your grandmother's recipe? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. What do you, what do you give McCoy? What do you give McCoy on the on the dinner? It wasn't bad. No, it was good. Yeah, really good. I told him I said that that should be on the menu every time. Yeah. Taco Grandma's taco salad. Oh, I was actually talking about McCoy cooking when. What was your grandma's name? What's your grandma's name? Barbara. Barbara's taco casserole. Yeah. Yeah. You bring that recipe with you from Barbara? Yeah, I got it on my phone. I make it all the time. <laughs> it was good. Yeah. Dang. All I right. Hollywood. Says first ever golden smallmouth caught in Michigan. Dude, look at that. What in the world? That's crazy, dude. I wonder if we could weigh that in. They probably wouldn't let you. They Why probably. Not? I don't know. They think it's like a subspecies. At 11 a.m., there's a 50% chance of a thunderstorm, and then at 2 o'clock, there's a 60% chance. And then it's going to be pretty nice till 7 o'clock tonight, there's another 70% chance. It's blowing 22 to 26, 11 o'clock, 26 to 30. Wow. 2 o'clock, still around 25. Well, guys, we're still here at the house this morning. Good morning, by the way. Day three of practice is uh, upon us. You know, um, it's kind of a kind of a interesting thought process here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the trees are whipping around pretty good. The winds, obviously, you just saw it on the map. 26 to 35 mile an hour winds. And that makes the water rough, really rough, dangerous. You actually tear up the boat. You can just do a lot of things. There are places we could run and fish. We could run to Waddington. We could run way down up the river and stuff. But with the weather the way it's going to be for this tournament, dead slick calm. Uh, Thursday, Friday, and I think even Saturday and Sunday, which is kind of crazy. Dead slick calm. I'm not fishing in that river, guys. I mean, I may fish around where I caught them the first day on the passing by or something, but I'm not running 15 or 20 or 30 miles up a river when it's dead slick calm. I'm going to stay up on that lake, and I'm going to fish what we found yesterday, and I'm going to try to put together a 23 to 25-pound bag every day, and that's just what I'm going to do. So it, it's, it's like I could go fun fishing, and I may do that here in a little bit just – for the heck of it but i don't want to go beside i don't want a sidetrack mind i don't want to to go 20 miles up a river and all of a sudden get confused on man should i go up here because we just caught three five pounders just stay on the lake focus and that's what we're going to do yeah, them boys are still sitting in the house but it was storming and blowing 30 and still blowing like 30 but i'm gonna go in the river and try to at least get a a little bit accomplished today while them boys in there make Palomar biscuits, tell fishing stories or something. How big was the river? So it was weird, dude. When I, come, when I went through the Nares and got down to the other end, it's fine, right? Yeah. I come running through the Nares and I come under the bridge, and like for the first mile under the bridge, it's, it was, you know, it was bouncy. And then all of a sudden, dude, it just got big. And then I, I took it behind that little island before you get to Clayton to the left. Yeah. And I run around it and it was fine. And then when I come back out, as soon as I round the corner in front of them seawalls right there at the mouth of the French, that French Creek, I mean, it just, they was, they were big, dude. And I'm like, it was, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know how, I don't know why they were so big I right there. I looked at wind finder up toward Waddington. There ain't no wind hardly. Like eight to 10 up that way. Well, that's an hour away. Yeah, <laughs> weird though. I mean, you think it'd be blowing there.
Please tell me you got that in. I did. And it's not the wood's fault. Trust me, he just ran into it. It's all right, buddy. You want some attention? I'm superstitious. Oh, they have a goby. Look at this goby. Oh. You're hooking it flat ways, right? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> All right, more tackle. I'll keep buying more tackle, and all I'm going to do is fish with one worm. I mean, I just keep Dude buying different things. Dude is sponsored by Trocar, and he had to come buy some. Well, I need those little two odd. I need a little two odd. I don't throw two. No, not even two odd. Size two. They're little, dude. That's a little hook, but it gets them. Well, that's a difference in a day, huh? <laughs> Those trees aren't even moving, Leaves dude. Leaves aren't blowing around. <laughs> no. That's crazy. When they say light and variable, they meant it, I guess. Yeah. It's rare that they're hey, ever right. Hey, I bet you there's four footers on the lake right now. Oh, for like Yeah. Residual. I did it that one year. It was just like this. It was a glass at Clayton. I took off, and I got about a half a mile out in the lake, and I started going, woo! Not cresting. They're just big rollers. Yeah. That's how long it takes for that lake because of and how it, big it is. And it's yeah. how, how long is that lake? I mean, it's 100 miles. No, it's 100 and something miles, yeah. 100 something miles. That's yeah. how long it takes for that to settle down. And, it, and by, about lunch today, it'll just all slick off. It did that that day. But it takes it takes like a full 24-hour period for that lake. I didn't have a butt seat in the boat. Oh, my God. And until 11 o'clock, I had to fish on my knees. Really? <laughs> they were like this tall, just big rollers, yeah. Wow. With zero wind. Oh, my gosh. All right, guys. Well, good morning. Well, today's our, our, uh, our off day, even though yesterday was kind of our off day. I'll say this, in the 23 years of fishing, I've never taken a whole day off of fishing, but the wind was awful. And again, just to kind of say why that happened, there were, you couldn't fish to part, the first part of the river. The, from, from the mouth of the river to Clayton was gigantic waves. And I'm not going to go past, the, I'm not going to Augensburg and Waddington and all that, where you probably could have fished a little bit. Only going to fish the lake. It's going to be like this, calm, the next two days. And I don't want a distraction. Could I have went out yesterday and found something that would have been interesting? Yeah, but that's my, almost a distraction because if I get on the lake and the things start getting a little tough or there's maybe a couple hour period where it's like maybe things aren't going all that great, your brain will start saying, well, I mean, I could run up the river. There was just all those fish shallow or whatever's going on and I could go catch a couple of those real fast and save the day. And sometimes that does work and sometimes that's a distraction. I think, and it's the same way Canterbury's thinking, is that, you know, we just stay focused on the lake That's i don't right. have anything in the river to fish you know what i mean so it's like if there's a two hour period where i'm not catching them so keep moving around and figure it out because we need five good bites that's it you know you can go to the river right now and catch a whole bunch of two and a half and three pounders but they're a distraction to be honest with you. yeah but yeah you're gonna catch a four or five pounder every once in a while too but i think we've found some pretty good stuff in the lake you know and and, and hopefully there's not too many people on this stuff I think the lake's going to be pretty spread out this year. I think you're going to have people running to Waddington. I think you're going to have people fishing their lake, the Canadian side. I mean, you know. Yeah. I'm happy with the way everything turned out. We watched the weather. Yep. We planned for it. We fought the waves and the lake. Mm -hmm. And we learned some stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If we didn't catch anything in two days, we'd have fished the river yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. All right. He's ready to go. You know what we're doing today? We're going fishing. We're going fishing, we're going fishing on our off day. But not on this lake. Not on this this system right here. We're gonna go up to hang out with our good buddy William Clute. We're gonna do a little fishing challenge today. We're gonna show you some of that. We're actually probably shoot a little TV show out of the whole thing. So since we're all here, we're gonna do a little two v two, and uh, Scott Canterbury and Matt versus William and I. Yeah, that's the deal. Let's go. All right, dude, we got to beat these cats, okay? We got to beat these cats. We're doing an SMC today. We're getting ready to go on the water with Canterbury. We're going to be fishing against Canterbury and Matt. We're here with my good buddy, William Clute. And I've fished this, this part of the river several times with you. We've yeah. always smashed them. Had such a good time. Uh, Hogansburg, New York is right here. The Aquasusna Aquas Aquas Indian Reservation is right here. Mohawk Indian Tribe. Uh, they own all this property right here. They have a great casino in town, some good restaurants, oh, good yeah. gas stations, and the fishing's phenomenal. But we're going to do a little 2v2 today. That's what it's all about. we got to beat them, dude. We'll get them. Let's go. We'll beat them. Let's go. Let's go get them. Let's go get them. Oh, 
Yeah, it's got uh -oh. it. Uh-oh. We're starting it uh -oh. off, boys. Oh, he's Ooh. off. He's off. One with him. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That light line. I would just swing him in. I don't want to lose him. He's just little. He's just little. Little tiny one right there. Beautiful though. Uh oh. That's a fly. Just not big though. Yeah, we got to give him. Hey, look at that big boulder right in front of me. See it? Little guy. Oh. Oh me. We got two. Yeah, we're, we're weighing multiples at a time here. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh, oh this yeah. is good. Yeah. Good eye, man. That yeah. was awesome, dude. He's like, I saw one down there. I threw that little hair and like literally didn't even hardly move it. Just let the boat drift and pull that, that hair jig along. He just came up and went. Did you notice how these guys moved to when we were fishing? So freaking pretty. Look at that, guys. Hey, good eye. That was teamwork right there. Let's see if I can attract one. They do these things are like mahi in the ocean. You just leave a hook one out there and you'll pull them all to the boat. That's exactly right, dude. There he is. Good one. I don't know. It's a big one. Feels like a big head shake, I'll say that. Five pounder, Scott. That's a big one, dude. Oh, here he goes. Oh, he's good, he's good. He, he may help us. Here, here we go. Strap in. <laughs> good. It's all on the legs, man. Yeah. It's all on the legs. Get him, Scott. Get him. Got him. Yeah. Got him. See you guys. You did. Dang! Oh my gosh! <laughs> you have that in your pocket all day? He didn't even flinch. <laughs> like, he's just <laughs> straight face. He's that emoji that's just straight face. Oh, you're time. dancing. That was good. That was good. Alright, we'll see you. Thank you. Fun day right there. Fun day right there. We caught some fish, boys. We did our we did our day off. Yeah, TV show today, which is cool. So uh, it's time now to head back to the house, fix a few things rod-wise, break a couple couple baits, and uh, get some sleep. Get ready for tomorrow. I'm boat four, so that's good. Get to get out there and just do my thing. That's it. I'm so excited about just having fun tomorrow. You know, I feel pretty good. You know, I feel decent got a couple of areas that's got some good fish i haven't caught any big ones like really big ones this week but uh you know i'm hoping to get over 20 get over 20 and then sort of settle down and maybe have a few hours to try to find something new maybe find something special hopefully so got a long day tomorrow hopefully we can put in some more work find a few more areas and catch a big bag i'm looking forward to it what are you gonna do tomorrow what are you doing what well, I doing? was I was going to bed. I'm checking some emails actually, so you caught me before I went to sleep. Uh, St. Lawrence River game wins catch 20 plus pounds, or you're not in the game here. So, bottom line, the goal is 20 pounds. We don't stop till we have over 20. If we don't catch over 20, so be it. But we're going to give it our all. Um, go fish for smallmouth all day. We might accidentally catch a largemouth. I caught two pretty good ones in practice, but um, going to fish for smallmouth. Probably going to stay in the river for the first half of the day to see how it goes. We may run out of the lake later, roll the dice a little bit. Uh, just depends on uh, depends on what kind of weight we got. Because the difference between 16 and a half pounds and 18 and a half pounds here is the cut. The difference between 18 pounds and 21 pounds a day here is the top 10. So it's going to be really tight weights, really big sacks, and I know i got to catch them going into this tournament. So that is the game plan. What a week.
What a week. Boat four tomorrow. Doing it three. And I'm glad I'm an early boat, to be honest with you, because the one spot that I want to, I'm excited about, I think it's going to have other boats there. So at least it'll allow me to get kind of there, get position, first position probably. See what we can do. You know, here's what I'm excited about. The fish are biting everywhere. So if for some reason they're not biting all that great in first place, we're just going to go some other places. You know, there's so many fish in this system. Once you figure out, like, and get confidence and you kind of understand where they are and kind of how to catch them, I think you can run and just just do work so three o'clock tomorrow we put in three well we put in two hard days of practice yesterday was a bust today we had some fun that was good so hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode um stay tuned so here's the deal i think prediction wise i think this could take it's gonna take 95 i think it could take 100 there's somewhere between 95 and 100 pounds to win this tournament I hope we all catch them. I hope we all do house cuts. So I'm encouraging all of you guys, here's what I want you to do. Hit subscribe, hit click all notifications for all the videos because you're going to want to watch how we do in this tournament. I want you to watch this. St. Lawrence River Series is awesome, guys. Thank you so much for all the support. Thank you to everyone that makes this possible. And guys, we're going to go hit the sack. We're going to get ready. New video coming. Day one and day two, St. Lawrence is up next. We'll see you guys. Bam!